Hi guys, Brad Browning here, and today I wanna to talk to you about some of the signs that indicate the no contact strategy is working. As many of you may already know, I'm a relationship coach, breakup expert, and author of the best-selling X Factor program. Whether this is your first time watching or if you've been to my channel before, welcome and thank you for joining me today. Now, if you are watching this video, then chances are that you've made the wise decision to try out the no contact method. Great job. Uh, as you may know, the no contact period is something that I personally encourage people to use because if it's done correctly, it can stop and even reverse a breakup in its tracks. So how can you tell if the no contact phase is actually working for you? Well, here's three signs to look for. Sign number one, you're feeling better. Now that the storm has passed, you're finally beginning to see the light again. Inside you feel calm and more like yourself than you did after the breakup. You've been spending time working on yourself and you're feeling strong, self-aware and in control. With each day that passes, your self-respect grows. Best of all, you're not driven by reckless emotions that have caused you to be careless and you truly feel like a changed person. This is exactly how you should be feeling at this point and it's one of the biggest signs that the no contact period is working for you. Sign number two, your ex contacts you. After weeks of not reaching out to your ex, they've now become interested in communicating with you again. They call, text, like your Facebook photos, or maybe even ask you to meet up for coffee. The reason that your ex is so interested in contacting you now is no surprise, and it's because the no contact period is working. Now, since you've been avoiding your ex instead of chasing after them, a few things have already happened. First of all, it's likely that your actions or your lack thereof have caught your ex by complete surprise. By cutting off communication, you've basically shown your ex that you're stronger than they thought you were gonna be after the breakup. And the second thing that's happened since you've been avoiding your ex is that they've forgotten some of the negative memories that caused you to break up in the first place. And as a result, your ex is probably starting to miss you and they may even be paranoid that you're moving on, something that they probably never expected you to do so soon. If your ex wants to stop you from leaving, then they're gonna to have to take action at this point. Now, as tempting as it may be, it's important that you hold out and finish your no contact phase before you attempt to rebuild the bond between you. Do not give your ex the opportunity to play with your emotions or to put you in the friend zone, especially not while you're in the process of becoming a better you. And if your ex doesn't contact you during the no contact period, it doesn't mean that no contact isn't working. It just means that they've got a great poker face. Believe me when I say that it's still entirely possible that your ex does miss you, but they may just be too stubborn to reach out to you right now. So don't give up on the no contact period. It works for a reason. Now, if you're nearing the end of your no contact period and you'd like more information on how to reconnect with your ex or, or what you should text them, how to seduce them again, visit my website, breakupbrad.com and check out the full length presentation I've got up there. It's a free video and I'll uh, be sure to post the URL in the description below, but head over there after this video. Again, it's breakupbrad.com to watch that free video. Sign number three, your ex is asking about you. One of the most powerful aspects of the no contact strategy is the way it sparks your ex's curiosity and creates a sense of mystery. I mean, think about it from your ex's perspective. He or she was used to having you around as a big part of their daily life, and then all of a sudden, poof, you've disappeared. That's naturally gonna cause your ex to wonder what you're up to and why you vanished without a trace. Most of the time, your ex's curiosity is gonna lead them to start digging for information about you. They might ask mutual friends what you've been up to since the breakup. They might seem jealous when they hear about your newfound social life or the fact that you've been dating. Hell, I've even had coaching clients tell me that they've caught their ex driving past their house late at night just to see what was going on. Now, hopefully your ex won't be doing anything that creepy, but the simple fact of the matter is that any indications that your ex is curious about what you're up to is a clear sign that the no contact strategy is working like magic. All right, so now that I've shared with you some signs that point to a successful no contact period, I wanna invite you to share some of your positive experiences and feelings that you've uh, have been experiencing since you started your no contact period. Uh, go ahead and post your stories and comments and questions below and I'll, I'll do my best to respond to each of you personally. And if you're worried that the no contact strategy might not work for you or you're not sure if the no contact period is working, then I encourage you to sign up for my personal coaching service to get some one-on-one -on -one help. Now, I'm only available to help a limited number of people at any given time, but you can see my current availability and learn more about my program at breakupbrad.com slash coaching. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're a little more confident now that the no contact period is working for you, or at least you're on the right track. If you'd like to show your support for my channel here on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe to it. And you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and I appreciate all of you who take the time to follow me and on here on YouTube and on my social media channels. All right, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching and until next time, take care.